Okay, on to day two, or notes number two for linear and quadratic functions. Today our focus is on evaluating functions, so it should be pretty easy as we evaluated expressions in our very first unit on polynomials. So you have a level one and level two in delta math. Let's take a look at a level one. So it says given, so our function is f of x equals negative x minus two, find f of negative six. So all you do, so f of negative six, is you take the negative six and you plug it in for x. Okay, so we're going to do, we'll do this in blue, you take a negative of negative six, so here's the work, negative of negative six and subtract two. So negative of negative or negative times negative is positive and six minus two is four. So we can say that f of negative six equals four. Okay, but you would just type four in as your answer. Okay, and it's a linear function because it's just simply x to the first power or mx plus b. Okay, now let's take a look at a level two. Our function is now quadratic. So given f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 20, find f of negative 9. So we take and we plug in the negative 9, right, for the x. So it becomes negative 3 times negative 9 squared minus 20. So order of op, right, um, we have to do exponent first, but you can also, your calculator follows the order of op, you can type this in, so negative 3 parenthesis negative 9 squared, and the calculator will do the math for you. So you plug it in, and we get negative 263. Okay, so that's your level 1, level 2, and then we move to evaluating functions from a graph. So example number three is going to be graphically. So let's sketch a parabola. And it looks like this. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then it says um, find f of three. So you want to locate the point where x is three. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, that's right here. And if we scroll up on our graph, it's the point three, five. It's right there at the vertex. Okay, so f of three, my answer, f of three equals five. So it's saying when x is three, what's y? Okay. So let's look at a new problem. It's all the same type. Now, if we have points on a graph, for example, four, so let's draw our axes and put A up here, B right here, and C right here, and D right here. So you can clearly see where these points are and what numbers um, you have for coordinates on your grid, so you don't have to do this. But because um, I don't, I'm just sketching it, I'm going to write down that the coordinates for C are 0, negative 2, D is 2, 5, B is negative 2, 2, and A is negative 5, 7. So the question says which point can be used to find f of negative 2. So when x is negative 2, remember that's your x, we would use point B. Because point B has a negative 2 for the x value. There are other questions too that say if f of x equals 5, 
find x. So then we want to know the point, right? So what this is saying is y is 5. So that point would be this point right here. So that means our answer x would be 2. Okay? So different ways of asking for either the x or y when um, you're given the input versus output. All right, next section. This is example number five, even though I kind of combined the last two. Given f of x equals negative 2x minus 5, so it's linear. Solve for x when the f of x equals 3. So we're going to replace this whole f of x here with the number 3. So let's copy down the rest. And now you can see we only have one variable to then solve for y. So we add, or I'm sorry, to solve for x. Uh, add the 5 over, so 8 equals negative 2x divided by negative 2 and x equals negative 4. Okay, not so bad. And you might like the function stuff, I do. All right, uh, we're given two functions. So example number six. Our functions are f of x equals x squared and g of x equals two times three to the x. Remember, they can use any letter, p of x, q of x, m of x, so on and so forth. Which of the following statements is true? So given those, which is true? Is f of 2 greater than g of 2? Is f of 2 equal to g of 2? Or is f of 2 less than g of 2? So we have to plug in 2. So let's do f of 2, which would be 2 squared, that's 4. And then g of 2 would be 2 times 3 squared. So 2 times 9 would be 18. So we've got 4 and 18, so g of 2 is larger, or f of 2 is smaller, which is that one. Okay, so we first had to evaluate the function first before we can compare which output was bigger or smaller, or they could have been equivalent. So last but not least is um, systems of quadratics in linear. So if we had a parabola here, and then a line here. When it says to solve the system, and Delta Math even gives you a hint that it's point, if we solve the system, we're looking at the points where they intersect. So our answer would be this point right here, which is negative 6, 5. So negative 6, 5, and this point right here, um, well, according to my graph, not the one I see, let's say it's negative 2, negative 3, because my sketch wasn't so great. So the point when you solve any system, graphically, are the points where they intersect. And then in the last section, um, you just have to graph the quadratic and linear function, or actually um, they have the quadratic already graphed, you just have to plot the line and then state the points where they intersect. Have a good day. Make sure you uh, seek help from Mr. Hart or myself if you are in need of help. We are here to help you. Bye-bye.